your friend make Cassandra where you salt with the juice and then make the more stories eh Bremo so let's get right into it story edi kai mona guchi na wate I shall mow the warning eh wo ni show ni so bibi jojo on onia tv na or catch I shall mow the say eh man in fast her boyfriend girlfriend issues sir eh wo industry ni mo eh fam ba onu mona guchi so na mona guchi yes and be sound said that Ben on no wabai I shall mow the no wa what catch and saw pe boy da it's looking like I shall mow the akoka o baby say mona guchi can say pe boy but. Mona Gucci yet in warning be pana or catch and say, I quote, if you come for me, I'll come for you. But before we watch the video, no, uh Mona Gucci Emma some key be or can say some mind what you are why yeah or more riff raps so yeah mo uh echo the dink of fatem emma or no I shall modino na some my one or more memma be a almost new almost shall hold it up but aside that no almost sound war pastors be a yo mu see with you mo. Let's watch the video. Aisha, the pain of me mona gucci. Mapa won chain, I got a catcher or say, per boy, mammy. I shall money. Because what the body, I didn't think I would be able to record it. Bibia, what I'm for Frewo, who mammy Frewo, who could look around who posted post in the Bia, so the love of your life, who put him in recording. Who never very malicious, like you will not be doing those things. Who did you be at a minor me or record it? Me will say, me will say, me will order no, I shall money. She ye me means no. Why would say I'm not attacking the riffraff, the, the dirty, dirty, dirty girls you have employed? I am dealing with their God, that is you. Now, catch your own self, almost almost on my life. And yet, almost 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 baby that is not in the home, almost almost baby that is safe, no one said, I'm not a for so every see or no, almost so I'll have time for them. This is my warning to you, Aisha Modi. Don't ever in your life. Drag me monaguchi into this kind of boyfriend, girlfriend, or be the way I don't be the way that don't drag me into it. Otherwise, you see the devil in me. And this is a warning to you. In that case, no, no, me be some more soon. Etsy, etc. Etc. Bibi Jijo, pan who I shall move the out one. Bibi Jijo, come and I'll come for you. I shall move the Obi and him so pay beef. So the whole bar assembly is normal. It's very, very normal. But let's hope, say monaguchi ni I shall move the. I will best solve this issue, but there is a particular issue I want to tackle. The one say industry near one in the music industry or movie industry, in fact, industry near one in Ghana. I say if you bear, if you agree with me, now beef about the year a very huge thing in this industry. Say Obi and beef here is like I'm a hooky cow. The the celebrities, some of the celebrities who are on Oma, they 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 can't thrive without beef. I'm a beef here. I'm a hunt or more. Just take a look at the music industry. Sesiano, musicians, or more beefy sesia, or more beefy we are not or more day, and you or more releasing, you know, we are not saying releasing music video as some count. What kind of promotional strategy is that? It's wrong. More yes, I cry. A couple of um, countries are more around, and who you say, yeah, dear girl. Honestly, how can you beef and then release a song? It has become a routine right now. A lot of people are doing it. Take a look at Nigeria. Take a look at Udia America. When have you seen Beyonce beefing with Jay Z before releasing a song? When have you seen Davido beefing with Burner Boy or Fire Boy before releasing a song? How can't we just find better ways, strategic ways to promote our music than to beef, beef, beef all the time and release music? It's wrong in general, no. Beef in our dorsum. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of it. In penny for more industry, ni muno. Industry ni ni na ni mse ye one. In penny for na muo muno. Let's find a solution to this problem because about the year some style be as a grubby ni edi wo industry ni muno. Let's move on. Sorry at what so. Sam George MP are here fighting against the LGBTQ movement. No, a call interview be was CNN Africa. Na newscaster no a day in the top pan. On ma Sam George go fu yang kasa na. Or the man na Sam George so the amano. I know I'm not able to tell you what I'm saying. I can't say I'm not going to be able to do justice to it. So let's watch the video. And before you, we lost you. We were talking about conversion therapy, which is considered torture, and your bail would legalize that. Do you want to torture people in the name of curing homosexuality? I was making the point that the individuals who decide to become transgender, who decide to change their sex from male to female, apart from undergoing surgery, also engage in hormonal treatment. Is that torture? Because I don't see how different hormonal treatment is from what you call conversion, conversion therapy, therapy. Is not the same as conversion therapy. These are very, very different. This is a false What's equivalence you're What's making, sir. 
No, what, what's the difference? I would need for you to, the, to I am not, I am not a your, medical expert, your, but it's been by UN experts who look into this have con considered conversion so therapy as torture. If you're not a medical expert, Larry, Larry, if you're not a medical expert, and I'm saying to you that we've spoken to the experts here in Ghana, and there is nothing different because conversion therapy is a hormonal treatment. And I'm saying to you that when the individuals choose on their own volition to change their sex, they undergo hormonal treatment. Men go and take estrogen shots to be able to develop female features. And that's the same thing. That is not the same therapy. thing. That is not the same thing. But I want to move away from that because you, you talked about the United doctor, States. So you, you talked about the United States. So you want so to make it difficult for this. anybody to live an open, free life because of who they love in Ghana, and you want them to go to jail for 10 years, you're happy with that? Well, you haven't read my bill. It's a misinformation to say that anybody who's found guilty of a homosexual act to go to jail for 10 years. That's a misconception you're peddling, and you should not do they, that. They can go platform. to jail up to 10 years. This is just one of that the many penalties that is in the bill, sir, that you're encouraging Ghanaians to report anybody who is suspected of being LGBTQ. Is that correct? Larry, I would advise that you, you and put a job at what you're doing, okay? If you want to put a spin, put a spin on a bill, right? This is my bill that I've passed before Parliament. I'm going to read to you section 6.3 of the bill, or clause 6.3 of the bill, or 6.2 of the bill. A person who commits an offence under paragraphs A, B, C, D, E, F, G of subsection 1, which is the section that lists all the offences, commits a second-degree felony and is liable on summary conviction. And Are activity you... of homosexuality is a second-degree felony. Honorable George, are you just a hateful person who does not want people who are different from you to have a life in Ghana? That is a defeatist approach to ask me a question, a defeatist line of questioning, that I'm a hateful person. If I'm a hateful person, we will not be protecting the rights of persons with LGBTQ and saying that you should not, they have a right, they have a right to a fair trial before the competent court of jurisdiction. Section 22 of our bill prohibits extrajudicial treatment. And you're not highlighting that part. That part is that I'll read the prohibition of extrajudicial treatment. A person commits a misdemeanor if that person verbally or physically abuses, assaults, or harasses a person, A, accused of an offense under this act, or suffering from any gender or sexual identity. Culture, the people who voted for you, state. Honorable George, and I have to go, the people who voted for you, of all the problems they have in your constituency, is this the major issue for them? Is this the thing they're most concerned about? Well, this is one of the major issues for them because the government of Ghana in, two, in 2020 spent $200 million subsidizing the cost of antiretroviral drugs for persons who have HIV AIDS. The Ghana AIDS Commission is telling us that men having sex with, with men, MSMs, homosexuals, are leading the surge in, in HIV prevalence in Ghana. $200 right. million dollars could have fixed the water problem in my constituency. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there, um, Sam George. Thank you for your time, sir. We appreciate it. It's your number one, Pastor Ajina Sari, a friend, Sam George, Ewa, sorry. It's your number one, Pastor Ajina Sari, a friend, MP, Sam George, Ewa, sorry, them, a bomb pie man, say, a rather man and hoarding and fighting against this LGBTQ movement. Let's watch the video. Elder Honorable Sam George, come, let's pray for you. Let me pray for you. Give me some anointing oil quickly. You know, you know that Honorable Sam George is leading the parliamentary team um, for them to present their something to parliament for the LGBTQA plus, you know, bill. And uh, we want to pray for him. Stretch forth your hands towards him in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. When they come one way, let them scatter seven ways. Give him insight, give him utterance, protect him, protect his family by the power of the Holy Ghost. Protect is going out and coming in. Everything protect in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. LGBTQI+, every single day, be a normal the letters, be a cacao. This is a very, very sensitive issue. A very sensitive matter at that. Now, for what can I say? Mo am not saying that gays and lesbians are not the same. I am not parents are not the same. I am not saying This is just food for thought. Prince David saying so now we can assemble a far LGBTQ plus issue. No, no say God created Adam and Eve, not Steve and Steve. 
Yen Twasu. A huge congratulations to Ohene Kwame Frempon for taking away two awards at the just ended 40 under 40 awards event. The 40 under 40 awards awards young entrepreneurs who have achieved a lot under the age of 40 and in respective industries. Ohene Kwame Frempon took an award for the category food and beverages with the Coop's original Pofut Puff Puff Mix as well as the People's Choice category. <laughs> That's the end of Salt with the Juice. Next time, may the more stories be bremo. Yebeshia.